Marcus, the DA said he showed you guys some film of, of creating turnovers and how you created. Was, was that helpful? How, how helpful was it? Uh, no, it was definitely big. I mean, anytime you can uh, put an emphasis on anything, um, you know, the goal is to go out there and execute. Um, and I feel like, you know, we watched a couple of tapes each day um, during the week. Um, and we went out there and, you know, we, you know, made attempts at it and we got a few. Marcus, is there like, any one thing that kind of consistently stands out when some of these quarterbacks are having the big running days against y'all? Like, one thing that's kind of leading to um, I mean, we just got to be detailed, you know, on our, you know, rush lanes, um, just detailed on our, um, you know, drops and our coverage and things like that. Um, you know, if we, you know, take things away down the field, um, the quarterbacks are going to try to extend plays with their legs. Um, so we just got to find different ways to get them down. Is it uh, like challenging in the secondary when you guys play as much man as y'all do? Sometimes having your back turned to the to the play yeah. to kind of keep up with that. Uh, yeah, I mean it's just you know part of defense. Um, so what comes with it? Um, like I said, rushing coverage goes hand in hand. So um, you know, like I said, we just got to find different ways to get them down and contain them inside the pocket. What's your uh, sense of what this team's accomplished so far in the just past halfway, and, and how it sets you up for what's left? Um, I mean, we've been doing okay. I mean, we know we can be a lot better, um, especially, you know, on both sides of the ball, uh, especially on the defensive side. You know, we've, you know, started slow in a few games, um, you know, not sharp on our alignments and communication and things like that, um, you know, with eye discipline and things like that. So we know we have a ton of room to get better, um, even though the position that we're in, um, we still haven't played our best ball yet. Dennis highlighted like yesterday how it's just simple execution and communication for the defensive slow starts. But what in those aspects has you guys starting so sluggish in those areas? Um, you know, we just got to come out hot, uh, just come out, you know, focus, um, knowing our jobs and knowing our assignments. Um, that's the main thing. So, you know, we can get our eyes right and our cleats on the ground so we can just play. Obviously, Debo had the three turnovers yesterday. Um, for one, how often have you seen one guy force three turnovers? Right. And then just how much, being his teammate for two years now, how much have you seen him develop uh, since you've been in the group? Uh, I mean, he works. Um, you know, you know, there's in-between periods. You see him on the side over there working by himself and things like that. Um, you know, the, he knows his talent level. Um, you know, we, the two corners that we do have, um, but 23 on one side, so he knows he's going to get a lot of ops. Um, you know, he's taking very uh, taking advantage of that. Um, but he knows the type of player that he is. He knows his talent level and things like that. So you know, we're 100% confident in him, and it's just coming to show. Is, it, is there anything you can, I guess, specifically identify that's been so been a major factor in the, in the striking difference between the turnovers last year and this year? Um, I mean, we just we're just catching them this year. I mean, we had the same opportunities last year, um, but we're just capitalizing more. Um, but we, like I said, we put an emphasis in it on the off season. Uh, we talked about it, you know, during the year, during camp, and things like that. So you know, we we put a uh, focus on it. Um, so you know, when we have our opportunities, we just got to take advantage of it. How fired up were you guys uh, by Isaac Adams' play that led you oh, guys? Yeah, that was up. big. That was huge. That was a great uh, moment for the team. Uh, so the team's been doing pretty good. Um, just having Ike, you know, in our room as well, making a play like that down the field, getting the ball out, um, out of bounds. Uh, we're at the two, three yard line. That was a great setup for us on defense. Got anything on the line with Tyron this weekend? Say that again. Got anything on the line with Tyron this weekend with Florida and LSU going now? Uh, nah, we ain't talked about it yet, uh, but I'm sure we'll come up with something though. You line up uh, opposite. From him, but I mean, Taysom obviously right. uh, with the record or the milestone, ten pass and rushing, receiving yeah. touchdowns. Yeah. Like, how fitting is that for maybe just how much of an impact he has with this thing? Uh, I mean, like I said, you don't see that at all. Um, so just having him, you know, in our locker room is is is, is major for us. Uh, having him on the field at all times, you know, is, is major. Um, you can line him up anywhere. He can get anything done. Uh, I mean, he's definitely like a unicorn. So just, you know, congrats to him. Um, but you could see the work that he puts in. Um, he's up in here in the training room, you know, 6, 6.30 a.m. in the weight room at all times. So 
he puts in the work, he takes care of his body, and, you know, it allows him to go out and do what he does. So, you know, definitely, you know, glad to be a part of it. Do you think if he had to, he could play defense? Oh, yeah, definitely, for sure. I'm sure he did it in high school sometimes, so it's, it's sitting there somewhere. What position? Uh, I see him play outside linebacker or something like that, coming downhill, making plays. So I think he can get it done. Are you, are you? Appreciate it.